Even if you examine your breasts every month, how do you know if you have breast cancer? Let me show you. Breast cancer is one of the most frightening diseases a woman has to deal with. One in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer in their lifetime. Today I'm going to show you how to know if you have breast cancer. Self-breast exams are the single most important way women can take control of their health care. You know your body better than anyone, even your doctor. Knowing how to examine your own breasts and more importantly knowing what you're looking and feeling for will help you identify problems. Now a lot of women are afraid to examine their breasts and that's usually because they don't know what's normal or what cancer might feel like. So they assume the normal lumps are bad. When I examine a patient, I always point out her normal lumps and then show her what ca breast cancer might feel like. In over 30 years of providing women's health care, the majority of my patients who have developed breast cancer found their own lumps first. I've discovered a handful of breast cancers on routine breast exams, and very, very few were discovered by mammograms. That's because my patients examine themselves regularly. They know what they're looking for, and they seek prompt medical attention. So let me show you how to do a proper breast self-exam. First, look at your breast. Stand naked in front of a mirror and look for changes in your breast. Place your hands on your hips, then tighten your chest muscles. Raise your hands over your head. Then bring your arms down by your sides in a relaxed position. In each of these positions, you're looking for dimpling in your breast tissue, just like a dimple, and changes in the color of the skin. You will probably not see obvious lumps. Breast cancer tends to attach itself to the surrounding tissue, which can cause dimples and puckers in the skin. It can also attach underneath your nipple, causing your nipple to point in a different direction, or even invert. Breasts are normally different sizes and shapes. Knowing what your breasts normally look like in all of these positions is the first step to seeing changes that might indicate breast cancer. Second, Feel your breast. Now, you can do the standing up or lying down, whichever position is most comfortable for you. Use your right hand to examine your left breast and your left hand to examine your right breast. I teach my patients to check their breast by starting at the top near the armpit using the sensitive flat surfaces of your first two fingers. Palpate your armpit gently. This is where lymph nodes are that drain the breast Unlike the lymph nodes in your neck that are enlarged when you're sick with an upper respiratory infection, the lymph nodes in your armpits are usually flat like a lima bean, not round like these in your neck. It's not unusual to feel a small lima bean shaped lymph node right at the top outer edge of your breast, especially if you wear underwire bras. The underwire can cause irritation of the lymph nodes that drain your breast and cause them to swell. Now, I want you to move your fingers in small circles, little circles, lightly and then more deeply, all around the outer edge of the breast, clockwise around your left breast, and counterclockwise around your right. That's because it's easier to turn your hand that way. I use the clock as a reference, so if I feel a lump, say, let's say here at five o'clock, I'll be able to point it out to my healthcare provider. Now, let's look at your normal breast tissue. From 12 to 2 o'clock on your left breast and from 10 to 12 o'clock on your right is your mammary gland. It's the large gland that produces breast milk. It's shaped more like a teardrop with the point being up here in your armpit. The mammary gland is usually firm like a contracted muscle. Compare its firmness to your contracted bicep. It's also kind of bumpy like the texture of cauliflower. That's normal. And it's normal for one mammary gland to be bigger than the other. Now, keep palpating using the flat surface of your two fingers, not the tips. They're not as sensitive to texture, and your fingernails might poke your skin. Keep moving around your breast like you're moving around a clock. From the three to nine o'clock position on both breasts, you have fibers that hold your breast tissue to your chest wall. They get longer as you age and with pregnancy and breastfeeding, which can cause a little sagging over time. These fibers feel like overcooked spaghetti. Most women will also notice it feels like little cooked peas. Those are normal. They're cysts. Fibrocystic breast condition is when you have many of these cysts that become filled with fluid and tender every menstrual cycle. The difference between normal cysts and breast cancer is breast cancer tends to be very hard, more like a bone. Compare it to the tip of your elbow. What does this lump feel compared to the tip of your elbow? 
It's that hard. That's how hard breast cancer is. Remember how I explained at the beginning that cancer likes to attach itself to the surrounding tissues? Normal breast cells will move around slightly. You can move them. Breast cancer roots itself and it's not movable. Now, in the inner part of each breast, from 9 to 12 o'clock on the left and 12 to 3 on the right, is fatty tissue that feels kind of like jello. I like to use food analogies since most people have felt cauliflower, spaghetti, peas, and jello before. Keep circling your breast lightly, okay, then more deeply all around until you get to smaller and smaller circles until you get to your nipple. Then you check for nipple discharge. Gently squeeze your nipple and see if there's any fluid. If you see any, Take a white tissue paper and blot your nipple. You're looking for color discharge. Green, yellow, brown, bloody, even bluish discharge is not normal. Your breast ducts do have a little bit of fluid in them. So if you check vigorously or often enough, you may see a little clear, slightly cloudy, milky looking nipple discharge. That's very normal. The white tissue will just appear wet. So let's review what you're looking for when you perform a self breast exam. Number one, breast lump. A new, it's a regular shape, it's hard as a bone, it doesn't move, it may or may not hurt. Number two, breast skin changes, discoloration or dimpling. Number three, nipple discharge, colored nipple discharge. If you do discover any of these, then you need to be examined by your healthcare provider. They will probably order an imaging study, either a mammogram, thermogram, ultrasound, or MRI. If the imaging study confirms a suspicious lump, then a needle biopsy may be needed. A small sample of the suspicious area will be examined by a pathologist to see if there are breast cancer cells. Breast cancer affects 12% of women, but if you check your breasts every month, you'll be more likely to discover a suspicious lump at an earlier treatable stage. The best time to check your breast is right after your period. That's because your breasts will be the least full and tender when your hormones are at their lowest. And if you're not having periods, then check them once a month. There is no need to examine your breasts more than once a month. I had a 55 year old patient come back to me about a month after I had taught her this very thorough self breast exam. She was complaining of nipple discharge and sure enough, she had a milky discharge from both breasts. She had been examining and checking her breasts every single day, including for nipple discharge and had induced breast milk production. You see with enough stimulation, even older breasts can produce milk. So performing a self breast exam once a month is all you need to do to take control of your breast health. I'll see you in the next video.